Hey guys, hope you're having a good day. In this video we're going to be ranking the top 10 characters in Star Wars Rebels. We think it is a very underrated show with many great and memorable characters. If you want to see more Star Wars Rebels content, please let us know down below. In this video, we're only going to be naming characters that are introduced in the show, so we'll not be including characters such as Ahsoka, Rex, or any other characters who have appeared in anything before Rebels. Before watching, comment down below your favorite Rebels character. Also, please subscribe for future Star Wars content. Hope you enjoyed the video and let's get right into it. Coming in at number 10 we have Bendu. Bendu represents the balance between the light and dark as he uses both sides. He helped Kanan deal with his lack of sight by showing him how to see with the Force. He also helped guide both Kanan and Ezra by teaching them the knowledge of the Force. Bendu even spoke to Ahsoka before she confronted Vader by giving her insights for what the future would hold. Lastly, he has great power. After he was angered, he became a huge storm in the sky and shot down mostly Empire troops, but even some Rebel ships. Once he fell from the sky, he spoke to Thrawn shortly before vanishing into thin air. Coming in at number 9, we have Chopper, also known as C-110P. Chopper is an astromech droid who worked for the Ghost crew in a fight against the Empire. Throughout Star Wars Rebels, we see him as the backbone of the crew, helping with ship repairs, coordinating missions, and more. Chopper even had a Rebel base named after him, as he fought bravely against the Empire long after Star Wars Rebels ended. He's a very important part of the crew, and a loyal friend to his comrades. At number 8 we have Zeb. He is the muscle of the Ghost crew, but is more than just that. He was an honor guard on his home planet of Lasan, and is a skilled acrobatic fighter. Zeb always played a large part in the Ghost crew missions, and he developed a big brother relationship with Ezra. One of the coolest things around this character was his arc with Kallus. After the war he would travel with Kallus to Lyra San, where he would find the Lasa people thought to be extinct. Overall, Zeb is a nice addition to the Ghost crew. Coming in at number 7 we have the Grand Inquisitor. The Grand Inquisitor earned this title by being the highest ranking Inquisitor in the Empire. Formerly a Jedi Temple Guard, he was persuaded to leave the Jedi Temple by the speech of Barriss Offrey. After being dragged into the Senate hearings, she gave reasons as to why the Jedi and the Republic were corrupt. This resonated with the current Temple Guard and convinced him to leave the Temple. He then fell to the dark side and worked under Darth Vader. He hunted down many Jedi during his time in power, and we see him multiple times throughout Star Wars Rebels. All in all, he's a highly skilled duelist and an intimidating villain. At number 6, we have Sabine Wren. Sabine was a Mandalorian, a part of Clan Wren, but primarily a member of the Ghost Crew. She had a unique style of armor, and often changed her hair color and style. Her artistic ways even inspired the symbol of the Rebellion. She was a skilled fighter and clever with weapons, and she even wielded the Darksaber for a period of time. But, she would give the Darksaber to bo which would help unite the Mandalorian clans against the Empire. Last we saw her, she was with Ahsoka after the Battle of Endor, looking for Ezra. Overall, a very nice character. Coming in at number 5, we have Kallus. We first see him as a strategical and skilled Imperial agent. His main focus was taking down rebels, such as Saw Gerrera and the Ghost Crew. However, after years of fighting the Rebellion, he finally had a change of heart after working alongside Zeb in a survival situation. Excuse me. This made him realize that the Rebels he was after were good people and that he was on the wrong side of history. He then went on to aid the Rebellion, first as a spy and eventually as a soldier. Kallus even aided the Ghost Crew in liberating Lothal from Imperial control. All in all, Kallus is a very interesting character with a dynamic story arc. He is able to realize his fall in believing in the Empire, and he joins a worthy and honorable cause in the Rebellion. Coming in at number 4, we have Hera Syndulla. Hera is the main pilot for the Ghost Crew, and she was the daughter of well-known Clone Wars General Cham Syndulla on Ryloth. Hera is a very skilled pilot and can fight hand-to-hand -hand as well. She doesn't mess around when in command, but she is also compassionate to others. She is capable of flying numerous different kinds of ships, and she served in the Rebellion from the beginning all the way to the Battle of Endor. Her name can even be heard being mentioned in Rogue One on the rebel base Yavin 4. Also, her ship the Ghost can be seen in Rogue One during the Battle of Scarif and in the Rise of Skywalker during the final battle at Exegol. Lastly, Hera's relationship with Kanan is shown well and we really see the development between them as time goes on. Overall, Hera is a great character and is one of the best pilots in the Rebellion. Coming in at number 3 we have Grand Admiral Thrawn. Thrawn was both a strategic and relentless leader of the Empire. What made him so exceptional in battle was his preparation. 
he always took the time to know his enemies and their tendencies. He even studied the culture of his enemies such as the Twi'leks to get a better understanding of how to best prepare against them. His main focus for the Empire was eliminating the rebels on Lothal, as he was their main threat in the show. One scene of Thrawn's that sticks out to me is when he sought out Hera and Ezra's attempt to retrieve a Twi'lek trinket. He had known the history of the Twi'leks so well that he was able to realize their plan all along and stop the rebels from achieving their goal. All in all, Thrawn is an Imperial mastermind. Over his time in power, he gained many useful strategies and ruled both relentlessly and cunningly. At number 2 we have Ezra Bridger, Padawan of Kanan. Ezra is a very underrated character and plays a unique role. He was born the same day as Luke and Leia, and when we first see him, he is a loner on Lothal. After he joins the Ghost Crew, we see him eventually become a Jedi after going through training with Kanan. During this time, he encounters Maul on numerous occasions and is deceived by him, but eventually overcomes him. He also develops a friendship with Ahsoka Tano as he watched her last moments fighting Darth Vader. Ezra would later save Ahsoka by entering a temple that gives him access to the world between worlds. In his time dealing with this, Emperor Palpatine attempted to deceive him, but Ezra overcame the temptation and outplayed Palpatine. Ezra's last known action is helping free his home planet of Lothal by sacrificing himself to rid the planet of the Empire's presence. All in all, Ezra is one of the best characters in Rebels, and we hope to see his story's conclusion. Coming in at number one as the best character in Star Wars Rebels is Kanan Jarrus, formerly known as Caleb Doom. Kanan overcame many obstacles in his life, but always stayed true to his path. After surviving Order 66, Kanan joined the Ghost Crew after meeting Hera. Kanan then would fight against the Empire for the rest of his life. At one point along the way, he found a Padawan in Ezra Bridger. He taught him all that he knew, and worked hard to be the best master he could be. He taught Ezra of the Jedi, how and why their public failed, and also acted as a father figure for his Padawan who had lost his parents. Kanan also fought numerous powerful enemies, such as the Inquisitors and Darth Vader. But what makes Kanan so amazing is his willingness to put his life on the line for others. In the end, he made the ultimate sacrifice in taking an explosion from an Imperial attack and saving the Ghost Crew. Kanan is a selfless, powerful, and brave Jedi who made Star Wars Rebels such a great show. Alright, thanks for watching this video. This is just our opinion and there can be various rankings, so comment below your favorite Star Wars Rebels characters. Be sure to like and subscribe for more Star Wars content, and may the Force be with you.